I try to wake up every morning and get several hours of writing done before I go to the hospital, which can range between five in the morning and seven in the morning. So I could, in theory, be writing as early as three. Do a few hours of writing, see my patients during the day, um, and intermittently during the day, I do some phone interviews. If I'm on call at the hospital, I can write a bioethics column. Um, and then I come home and do probably a couple of hours of bioethics work in the evening. Sure, well until recently, I was teaching bioethics at Brown University and at NYU. Um, so there I would have my full classroom either of undergraduates or graduate students, and I would do some consulting work on the hospital floors as well. Um, now, since I'm practicing medicine nearly full-time at Mount Sinai in psychiatry, I do occasional bioethics consults inside the hospital at Mount Sinai, but far more often I'm consulting people outside, giving them advice on issues relating to the beginning of life, the end of life. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think 30 years ago there were no bioethicists. It is one of the new occupations of the technological age that we live in, um, and it takes traditional moral questions about when life begins, when life ends, and sees them through the prism of modern technologies. Um, and as we've developed, for example, ways of keeping life going beyond its natural parameters, the question arises, how far should we keep life going? And a bioethicist inside the consulting setting of the hospital doesn't offer people answers. It sets out parameters for people to think about answers so that a family on their own can make decisions based upon different ways other people have handled these situations in the past. I think it's far better to think of bioethicists as guides. I think there is a cottage industry now of people who have made a living or a career out of criticizing bioethicists, because they view bioethicists as these platonic guardians on high who step into the fray and say, this is how we will do things. I know no professional bioethicists who actually operate that way. Um, far more bioethicists show people the signposts, show people the different alternatives, and let them make their own decisions. Um, and I think that's important. I think that in the same way you wouldn't want your medical or legal decisions made by someone else, you would want to be consulted on an expert and then make the decisions on your own, a bioethicist is an expert who shows you the different parameters and then lets you make your own decision. Um, I should add, before the 1970s, philosophy as a field had branched far away from moral thought. It delved into questions of epistemology, the five-year-old's age-old question, when my parents leave the room, do they still exist? And it's bioethics that, in addition to working inside the hospital with families, has also brought morality back into the field of philosophy.